let's have a tutorial on active mode and how it works as well as on variable scope so it, it very much uh, they're very much tied together actually so let's have a, a setup function so void setup and um, maybe a good idea if you could uh, program with me maybe minimize the window to the to the side and and, and program with me uh, step by step so we could go through this together and then uh, after the tutorial is done you could you could play with this um, on your own and, and just play around with it get a feel for it and of course when you do the lab uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, questions that you could uh, work through so um, we'll have a void setup and in my void setup i'm going to uh, basically set the size to let's say 700 by 700 and um, the size would differ on each machine maybe 700 to 700 on your computer it gets to be huge on, on mine I'm using a surface uh, pro 3 on mine it's actually not that big so um, the number it, it very much depends on the configuration and the resolution of, uh, of your of your screen so we'll have a setup and that's pretty much all I'm going to put in my setup. So you, you could make it fancier, you could change the background, like anything that, that you want to do. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Then I'm going to have uh, my draw function. And in my draw function, I'm going to draw an ellipse. So I'm going to say draw it in in x coordinate 100 y coordinate 100 and um, I'm basically gonna tell it to draw a circle and but with that it, it's that I need to make the dimensions equal so if I say 50 and 50 that means it's going to be a, a perfect uh, a perfect circle right and and recall um, the ellipse uh, function so let's run this see what happens So what this is doing right now, although it's not apparent, what this is doing is this is, it keeps on redrawing the circle, but you can't see it because it, it just draws it on top of what, what it is, uh, what it is drawing, right? Um, so if I got the circle to move each time, so right now, every time it draws the circle of the same size in exact same place if i got this circle to to be drawn at a different spot each time then you can actually see the different circles that are that are being drawn so let's try to do that in order to do that we would need to increase um for example let's let's say this is this is the x direction right so this is the x coordinate let's increase the x coordinate by a certain amount each time by doing that, we are actually going to need um, need a variable, right? So let's say if I have an int x, I'll make it equal to 10. Um, actually, let's say if I make my x to equal uh, 100, and then instead of 100, I'm going to have x here. So I'm going to say um, each time you, again, don't forget this, this keeps on repeating, right? Each time you, each time draw x. And then afterwards, I'm going to say, I'm going to say x plus 10. So each time I'm increasing my, uh, my x by 10. So here, this is, as you recall, this is pretty much the same as saying x e equal x plus 10. Okay, let's run and see what happens. Still nothing. Isn't that surprising? Why do you think nothing is happening? Um, let's explore this and see why um, nothing is, is happening. And you still see x in, um, in the same place. So, um, let me just try to see. Okay, so this is the code. Let's try to write, a, 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 um, draw the memory diagram for this. So here we have x 
inside of draw and x is 100 okay what happens is you're going to draw this as x to 100 and then we're going to increase x so x is gonna be 110 right because we increase x x is gonna be 110 this time then don't forget we go back to the very top so then so so we go back to the very top uh, we get to int x equals 100 so this is just like so x is 10, uh, 110 now we're gonna erase it we have x again and we basically have 100 so you see, by putting a variable, by defining a variable in draw, what happens is every time you go back to the top of draw, because draw keeps on looping, right? It keeps on repeating. You're going to replace it. So it's not going to work. Nothing is going to, nothing is going to happen. What do we need? We need to put X somewhere else. Where can we put X so that X is updated successfully? Can we put X in setup? Can we? Let's try to see if we can. Well, the answer to that is, uh, is, is no, because if we try to put the definition of X and put it in, in setup, we're going to get an error. Why is this? Because um, draw says, I don't know an X, because don't forget, X is now in the, in the memory of, of setup. Draw doesn't know X. So the solution right now is to basically define X as as a global variable so now it is visible within draw and every time we run it we're not going to redefine it again right so x is going to change each time let's see let's run this so that was that was that was quite fast right it keeps on drawing it and it it, it keep, basically it draws a circle and draws another circle and another circle and it goes on and on It'll be small. It goes slower if I change the ten to to one. So now it's going to move a lot, a lot slower, right? So um, and the circles are a lot closer together. So this is our our, our first animation um, of of this class that we're doing together. So I guess it's rather uh, exciting. Hopefully you guys uh, uh, find it as interesting as uh, I'm finding this. Um, what if? you want an actual animation so what if you actually you don't want um the circle to keep redrawing what if you want to 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 think that the circle is actually moving what then well the trick for that is um each time the program the, the draw function runs you get a new circle on on the screen so if you reprinted or re, re, redrew the background then um it's going to the, the old circle that was drawn it's going to be covered with with the, with a new background so if we put the background here if i just made something really simple if i just say background let's say 150 this is going to be basically gray let's run this now now it's going to look like so every time a new if, so the background is is drawn a new circle is drawn then again, background is drawn, a new circle is drawn. That's basically how it works, right? Um, now, um, I could do this reverse. So I could say, instead of plus one, I could make it minus one. So this would be, this would be like saying x minus, minus one. So it goes the other direction now, right? It goes the other direction and it goes off the, off the screen, right? I could do the same thing with, with Y. So if you, so if you've been programming with me, you should change the X and Y and, and, you know, you should, you should play around with, with making Y a variable. You could make your circle smaller or bigger as, as it kind of goes, um, it kind of goes on, right? So for example, let's say, um let's say i'm just gonna say in size 50 and this is gonna be size let's say and let's take the x out now and let's just say size let's let's let's, let's make it larger by five each time 
run it. So you kind of see it just <laughs> uh, getting really large. If I take size and put it here, and maybe just make that to to fifty, so it's, that's not that's not a variable. Let's see what happens now. So it gets larger in in, in that in that aspect. Um, so you can play around with this, get a, get a feel for it. Basically, a uh, variable uh, declaration, variable scope is extremely important. Um, you would know that the variables defined in setup are local to setup, and draw can't see them. The variable defined in draw um, are local to draw. Setup can't see them. The variables declared in draw are going to be redeclared every time you go through draw. So basically, you don't want to declare any variables in draw because it's just going to be redeclared and you can't really save any values in it. That's really the key point. So those are the key points uh, that you need to um, pay uh, attention to. And um, oh, yes, one more thing, one last thing. This is a challenge to you guys that are watching. I haven't, you, I have not covered control flow, which is if statements or else statements. You have, uh, you have seen them in your, your pseudo codes, but I actually haven't taught them. Here's a challenge to you if you, if you are watching. Um, let's see, as, as smart engineering students as you are, um, let's say, let's go back to the program that we had. So I'm just going to make it 50 and, um, 50. And I'm going to do x equals x, let's say plus 2, so it moves a little bit faster. So it goes, and it goes, it goes, and it goes out of the screen. Can you make it so that it doesn't go out of screen and it actually comes back? So, so, or actually just doesn't go out of, out of doesn't, doesn't fly out of your window. Can you, can you make that happen? Um, try to work on that. I'm actually going to officially lecture on problems as as uh, such as that um, as of next week. But I, I want you guys to try to be one step ahead of me, and that's how you're going to be very successful in this course. You're going to see that every topic that you're going to cover in this course, you're going to um, basically feel the need for it first, and then I'm going to cover it. So I want you to really understand how important things are. So the challenge for you this week is to have this program as you've been programming with me the circle is going out of the screen don't let it go out make it make it make sure that it just stays there or get it to go the other direction so so play around with that and um we'll uh we'll, we'll talk about that in, in in next week's lectures thank you